What do you like better, drums or bass? Why not both? Okay, so I've chopped this drum loop into splices of roughly one beat per. But I put the splice points right on the transients, which since it was originally a live drummer playing, the transients do not follow exactly a steady clock. There are plenty of tools today for forcing sound files to a steady clock, but of course, so much of what gives a drum break its character is the space between the notes. So I've chosen to preserve that human rhythm while also letting each splice always start right on the transient. I'm gonna be sequencing the Rene using Tempe, which outputs steady clocks. So I need to find a middle ground that lets me use the steady clocks of the Tempe to sequence a bass line that sounds in sync with these drum splices. The method I decided to use is the play mod option in the Morphogenes options.txt. I set this to two for trigger loop. With this setting, every rising edge of a gate at the play input will cause playback to immediately jump to the start point as set by slide. This way, even if the rhythm or tempo is slightly off between the loop and the tempi clocks, we can force it to keep at least the beginnings of the notes in time at a rate of our choice. With this play mod option, there is no way to use the play input to make the morphogene stop playing. But of course, if you're looking for silence, it's always possible to set vary speed to stop, set sound on sound counterclockwise with nothing in the input, uh, patch the inputs to VCAs, or turn off your system and go to bed. I've run the output of the Morphogene through the QPOS and we're using the high pass outputs. These are my outputs of choice for breakbeats. I'm using channel one of Tempe to clock the woggle bug. And let's attenuate the stepped random voltage and use it to select splices via organize. Channel two of Tempe is patched to the play input. So the speed of channel one determines how frequently the splice changes. Well, the speed of channel two determines how frequently the current splice restarts. Let's use channel three of, of the Tempe to clock the Rene. And we'll sequence the XPO sub output using Rene's X channel. I'm sending the XPO through the Optimix top channel and then to the X pan for further mixing. Let's run the X gate outputs through channel one of maths and take the end of rise output so that we can manually control their width. This might come in handy later with baseline programming. And let's run the end of rise through a channel of modumix 
and take channel 5 of Tempe, which is set to a slower uh, divide by 16, and we'll use that to open the Modumix and let the gates through and onto the Optimix. The result is the sequence plays through once and then is silent for 16 steps. Hopefully making sort of a conversation between the bass line and the brakes. Now let's also mix in the mono very timbre output. I'm gonna mold this gate here. And let's mold it to both control inputs on the Optimix. And then we'll take that channel to the other input of x -Man. This gives us a little upper harmonic sheen on the bass line when we want it. And let's try modulating very timbre as well. Using the CV out of Morphogene, which is the envelope follower for these drum breaks. And let's use a math channel to modulate the radiate parameter on QCOS for a little bit of automatic filter variation.
Hey Walker, want to give us some polychords for this? This is a cardinal sin of IDM right here. 